On this channel, someone asked me a question that has to do with Pindodo and 1688 pricing of product, pricing psychology of different items as far as Pindodo and 1688 is concerned. So I decided to make a comprehensive video tutorial that will benefit all my subscribers that watch my importation content. So let's take a look at the questions. So down below right here, this is the person that asked this question, sign up. Uh, Matthew Gris, sorry if, if I mistakenly pronounce your name. So this is the question right here. So the question states that A, does PDD, which is Pindodo, or 1688 change prices upon purchase? Okay. For example, I don't have an Alipay card. So I asked my agent to pay for me. I sent him all my items at the very low prices, but then he sent me a spreadsheet showing a quotation of what I ordered, but at extremely higher prices. I then asked him and he said, the hub changes price once you want to purchase. Is this true for both Pendodo and uh, 1688 or he's trying to scam me because a dress that was listed on the hub at the price of 19.99 uh, RMB is now showing 65 RMB. This is just the question. And issues like this always come up between, between the client and the procurement agent. This is always happen. It happened to me also, like you guys know me, I'm a procurement agent and also importation coach. Now, to address this issue, I'm going to take you through step-by-step, -step, a practical uh, work step and see what this is going to transpire at the end of the video. Now, for you, for this particular person that has this question and some other people that are doing importation from China using the 1688 platform or using Pindodo platform that might face this kind of uh, issue, I want you to believe that some of the procurement agents, they will not scam you. The fact remains that most of the reason why some people uh, that send link that does not have the opportunity to see the real price, the shipping fee and things like that is because many of you that send link, you are not a registered member on 1688 or either on Pindodo. So you just copy link and send. By the time you get to the sales page and trying to add the product to cart, check out and things like that, you find out that the, pr the price is going to different. So this is just to state the fact that this your procurement agent is not going, to, is not trying to scam you. It's just the fact. So if you want to know more as far as this pricing issue is concerned, so let's get started into the tutorial and see a relevant example. I'm going to show you step by step and see this is not a real scam. It is what is happening on 1688 and what is also happening on Pindodo as far as procurement and shipping from China is concerned. But before we dive deep into the tutorial, as you guys know me, my name is Rafi Yakub. I'm a procurement agent, importer, and importation coach. If you want to contact me for business consultation, you can contact me on WhatsApp via the number in the description of this video. So with that being said, so let's dive into the tutorial and see pricing techniques and price psychology as far as pricing of item on Pindodo is concerned. We are going to take a look at Pindodo hard before we move ahead to 1688. So I'm going to head over to my WhatsApp right away. All right, so this is my WhatsApp right here. And uh, I have a client that I just purchased for on Pindodo. I want to use this particular client order as an example so you guys can really understand that your procurement agent is not, is not trying to scam you. This is really what is happening. Okay, so I'm going to click on our chat right here. This is the client right here. I really appreciate the client for the trust. And if you also want me to procure for you, on Pindodo or 1688 or whichever platform of your church, what you need to do is to send me your link and uh, we do the quotation for you. Then we go ahead with the purchasing and procurement. Now let's take a look at this particular client right here that I just purchased their goods recently from Pindodo. All right, so you can see the, the, the client's product has already been on transit. Now let's take a look at the, uh, this is the message the client just messaged me. It's also from my YouTube channel, just like every other person does. And this is my terms of service as far as, as procurement and shipping business from China is concerned. These are my terms of service. So if you want me to procure for you, what you need to follow is this instruction right here. Okay. Now, when this person sent me link, this is how Pindodo link look like. Now, let me give you what really happened in, uh, in this case. So this person here quotes the link by quantity they want and uh, things like that. You can see it right here. 
So the quantity they want, and uh, they, they sent about four different link, okay? And their phone number, the name, and their shipping address, things like that. Now, when I say try to, uh, each time I want to send a quotation, I always go by screenshots. So right here, the issue come up right here. Uh, this product right here, the, the total quote is 246. Now, please, I would like to adjust purchase the one for 130 to you hang for this now what really happened here is this so the one of 132 yeah this is the product so the product right here what they need is two quantity it is uh link one product link one yeah so this is the product link right here so we are going to use this product link as an example now you see on this product link this uh, client here they need 11 by 45 centimeter and they also need 11 by 55 centimeter let me quickly click on the product link then i'll show you what all right so this is pay now take a look at one thing right here on pindodo we have two price the first price here is 108 the second price here is 40.8 rmb but the problem here as far as pindodo is concerned is that if you are not an expert, you will make a, a serious error right here. And a, a serious error in the sense that you will mistakenly, mistakenly buy the product that you are not intended to buy. Most especially if you rush for the price. Okay. Now, this product here, this is not the, word, the one we need. And this is what we have on the product landing page. Now, I will show you what we later buy from this product and how much we later purchase the product now for you to know how to do for you to know the all prices and things like that about pindodo what you need to do is to have the product to cut that's the first thing you need to do now when you have the product to cut then you will now go back to your profile so now you can see it right here there is uh the, the one of uh the one of 40 40.8 rmb is here take a look at it so by the time i click on that you are going to see, look at what we have on the picture right here now the problem here is that if you send your link to a procurement agent then you attach a product picture of what you need you might be encountered to issue of pricing difference this is because now let's for instance this product sales page you screenshot a product picture of 200 and something rmb but on the assess page it stated 40.8 rmb so you will be wondering why this is so uh much expensive okay take a look at different features different watts now right here you can see 1000 watts the price for 1000 watts is 193 rm it's not the same as the price of 800 watts if we under the 800 watts they still have a variety in price take a look at this one is 45 rmb and this one is 126 rmb okay now the product on on, on pindodo product pricing has to do with the features of the product you need the quality of the product things like that now, another way by which you can know the real price on Pindodo is that you can tap on the on tap on the product picture right here. So when you tap on the product picture, you are going to see. Now, take a look at it. What we have on the sales page of this product is 40.8. But take a look at what you are going to get for this price. Now, somebody like you that wants a, a kind of a something huge, like take a look at another one. Another one right here is 84 RMB and it is 400 watts. The size is 11 by 45. Now, right here, you have something like this. A lot of people, they will not take into consideration the features of products they, 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 they want to purchase. What they have on their, uh, 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 what they believe is that the product, the price they see on the product sales page by the, posted by the seller is what they are going to buy the product. Forgotten that product pricing has to do with variety of quality, variety of quantity, and uh, variety of features of different products and as far as uh, different sellers category is concerned. So let's uh, swipe again and look for another one. Take a look at another one. This one here is 400 watts, 400 watts, 131, and uh, it has two standard. So, you cannot compare somebody that purchased a product for 131 with 
and uh, compare what the person is going to get with somebody that pay 40.8 uh 40.8 rmb and you will be wondering that but we purchased from the same seller fine you purchase from the same seller but you made a wrong purchase this is why a lot of people fall in a wrong hand on pindodo this is where people will say i order for this this is what i got i order for this, this is what i got mm -mm. on pindodo you need to be an expert before you can make a purchase and the case of sending link to a procurement agent you that sending link there is possibility that you don't have full knowledge of pindodo app so if you don't have full knowledge of pindodo app this is going to be strange to you and you will think that your agent your procurement agent is going to is, is trying to scam you or is trying to cheat on you nobody is cheating on you the thing is that this is how things are work on pindodo okay even if you are going to get a discount for a product there is another way you get a discount for a product there is no gain saying about pindodo supplier offer a discount for a product they sell on the platform so in my future tutorial i will make a video about how you get a discount when you are purchasing from pindodo supplier but before you can get a discount from pindodo supplier you must buy at least two q two uh two quantity that is most of the seller they offer five percent five percent discount for any item above one but if you buy if you purchase a single item on pindodo it is allow you guys to purchase a single item but you will not have the opportunity to have the uh discount as the uh, as the case may be though some sellers on pindodo they offer five the five percent discount no matter the quantity of the product you purchase but most of them they offer their five percent discount based on the quantity and generally all sellers on pindodo they we are shipping products for free this particular product right here we later purchase this at 132 now let's take a look at my whatsapp and then let me show you what the client later say so the product right here is uh two quantity but when i send a quote to this uh client they understand the fact that uh the product price are not uh the same and what they later did was that look at it uh this is the quote price they are going to buy the two at the price of 246 but the, sell, the, the, the client states that they are going to go for the one of 132 because it looks like the uh, what we, what is trying to say here is that the price of this item changed drastically. Take a look at it. So this is where the statement come up. This is my own personal client that just contacted me, as you can see on WhatsApp, on our WhatsApp chat right here. So price changed drastically. Nobody can deny that. But if you kind of the person that understand the procedure and how Pindodo works, this should not be an issue. You should understand that nobody or no procurement agent is going to scam you. So this is what I have for you as far as Pindodo is concerned. So let's take a look at 1688. hit on the other hand, I'm going to use another client as an example. So for 1688, this is another client I'm going to use as an example. This client right here is my long-time client. We have been working together. He's from Cameroon. And uh, I really appreciate the trust so far. And uh, uh, I enjoy working with you. Okay, so right here, this product, the, this, uh, this client here sent me some links from 1688. Take a look at the links. What in she wanted to know right here is shipping fee. And this is another problem from 1688 copy sending of a link. You that want to copy a link from 1688, you might not be a registered member on 1688. And if you are not a registered member on 1688, you will be limited to so many things on 1688. You will be limited to the number of products you can see on the app or on the browser. You will be limited to a lot of features about the products. Those are the things you need to know. Now, this product right here on 1688, 95% of sellers on 1688, they always charge shipping fee, local shipping fee. Now, let's take a look at some product right here. Uh, this product right here, this product right here is, uh, the product here is 34, 34 RMB. So if you had 34 by 34 RMB together, it's supposed to give you 60 
uh i think 68 harem you that send link this is what you are going to see from the sales page but by the time your procurement agent want to make a purchase they are going to have a local shipping fee you cannot see a local shipping fee because you are not a registered member on the app you cannot purchase that is why you don't see all these things so let me quickly give you an example uh i will click on the product link right here i will use one of my app that was not registered on 1688 this is the product link right here so i'll click on this product link all right so so you can see all right so this is the product landing page you can see it right here all right so this is the product landing page okay now let's scroll down and uh you see this is the information about the seller and uh, what they have done in the past but surprisingly there is no indication for shipping fee on the sales page this is happening because I have not logged in into this account. By the time you log into the account, you are going to and then you get to a purchasing center, just like how I show you on this screenshot. Definitely, you are going to see your shipping fee. But in this regard, in this category of shipping fee, only your procurement agent can see that. You as a uh, as a client that want to procure, you just said link. You don't have the knowledge of that. So. What you, the knowledge you are going to have is that by the time you buy, uh, by the time you buy two of this shoe, so definitely you are going to pay that uh, you are going to pay sixty eight hundred. But unfortunately, your agent sent you. Uh, what do I what do I have on the screenshot? Let's go back to my WhatsApp. All right. So, uh, uh, unfortunately, your agent sent you a code that indicates you are paying seventy seven hundred B. You will be, you 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 will fee summer. And I think that is what really happened to the person that asked me this question. So your agent is not going to scam you. They are giving you the real information as far as procurement and pricing techniques is concerned about Pindodo and 16 I hope someone can understand me better as the way and manner I explain this. If you find value for this video, give this video a big thumb up and also if you want to have a business consultation with me about importation, you can contact me on WhatsApp via the number in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.